Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. In today's video you will find out how the price of EOS has changed and what the technical indicators EMA, RSI and Stochastic RSI are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. By looking at the hourly time frame for EOS, we can see that the price moved up quickly with around 15.8% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 3.75. We can see that the buyers are taking over because the volume was also high, showing that this move was strong. Looking at the hourly exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is above the hourly ribbon, which can be perceived as bullish and the ribbon could play as a support. This means that you should watch if the price could bounce off the ribbon. The current price to watch is around 3.37. The ribbon is relatively spread out so the support should be considered. Moving to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI of 68 is located in the upper region, meaning that the price is being overbought and we can expect a comeback or for the price to remain on track for some time. Moving to the hourly stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but we can see that the trend is currently going down because the K line is below the D line. Moving to the three hourly exponential moving averages, the current price went above the three hourly ribbon, so you should watch out for the price dipping back below the ribbon or if it will play as a support to the downside, which is currently at around 3.44. Moving to the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI of 68 is located in the upper region, meaning that the price is being overbought and we can expect a comeback or for the price to remain on track for some time. Looking at the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. Nevertheless, the K line has yet to cross the D line, so it's recommended that you wait and see if the trend does in fact go down. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. time.